Hi, my name is Chris. Today we will be repairing the Watts Model 800M4 pressure vacuum breaker. Oftentimes in the field you may encounter a leaking or malfunctioning pressure vacuum breaker which may look like this. This condition may be caused by freezing temperature or debris inside the unit. Before beginning, check local regulations regarding the repair and maintenance of pressure vacuum breakers. Code restrictions may apply. Start by closing the inlet and outlet ball valves. Next, remove the bonnet assembly. This can be done by hand. Followed by the bonnet o-ring and vent assembly. Next, remove the check assembly by pressing down on the check retainer and rotating to remove the spring load. followed by the check spring and check disc assembly. The assembly of the unit is the reverse of the disassembly. Start by installing the disc assembly, ensuring that the fins are seated securely inside the seat. Next, install the spring followed by the spring retainer. Next install the vent, then the bonnet o-ring, then screw the bonnet on by hand. To restart the unit, quickly open the inlet ball valve followed by slowly opening the downstream ball valve until the downstream piping is pressurized. On three quarter inch diameter or smaller units, you may need pliers to access the internal components due to the size of the body. The kits needed to complete the repair shown today can be obtained from your local Watts wholesaler.